a couple years ago, my church put out that they do a summer musical every year. It's just a two week commitment. You're, you're automatically in. There's tryouts, but I thought, oh my gosh, I love musicals. I have been obsessed with musicals since I saw Grease when I was in second grade. And I have gone to so many shows, even going to all my sisters throughout high school, but I have never been one. I haven't sang in choir since fourth grade. I know how to play piano. So I'm like, okay, if I like buy some sheet music, I can figure out how to like sing the right notes. I make my boyfriend at the time like carry a keyboard, help me, that I buy just so I can try out for this show. And it's Fiddler on the Roof and I love Fiddler on the Roof, so I'm really excited. So I learn a really difficult song that is from Into the Woods. It's called Moments in the Woods. And it's so difficult that the lady who's trying to play the accompaniment like can't even play it. I said, don't worry, I memorized the whole song. I just stood there and I sang out and I felt like I was on glee. I was <laughs> so excited. I'm like, yes. I got this and I knew I wasn't going to be getting a named part, but that was fine. I just wanted to be on the stage in the show. And the list came out and I was assigned to be a townsperson. And I got even a couple lines, which I memorized, I highlighted in my book. I was really excited. And most of the people in the show are kids ranging from 8 to 18. There's a couple of adults. And I get along with the kids great because I've been obsessed with theater my whole life and it's nice to hang around people. Because day to day, I've been working as an engineer and I've been just kind of like I'm hanging around like this guy, I end up dumping him right before the show. And he always was just saying, like what's the point or this and that and it kind of got in my head so I kept thinking that like I'd be driving on the road and I think like what's the point like it was really bad but once I started hanging around these kids and being in the show that voice of like what's the point started getting quieter and all of a sudden one day I was kind of bored with the show in a way because I had like this really small part and doing these really easy dances and I'm like, all right, I'm doing this. But then this weird number came out. It's called Rumor. And I was chosen to be in it. And also, I'm not in a lot of the, sh the acts because I only come in the evenings after work as the kids are there like at the camp mm -hmm. during the daytime. So they're like, oh, well, you're not in the daytime, so you can't be in this act. I'm like, come on. I'm just sitting there crocheting. Like, I want to be in it. And so this rumor scene, they're like, all right, you get to be in it. And there's a couple lines and the director turns to me and she says, I want you to sing this. And I say, no, <laughs> oh my gosh, you just put me on the spot like that. I was so freaked out. But I took the sheet music home and I went to my keyboard and I played it. And I'm like, yeah, I can do this. So then I had to go ask the teenager who she gave it to, who already had like a big number. She was the ghost that came out and she had a really awesome part so I knew like she would probably let me have these like two lines and I was so grateful that she let me do that and the night of the show like everyone was just so encouraging and it was like the best community and before my act I wasn't even nervous I was just really excited to get to like Sing and have my solo and I had my parents there and they recorded it and um, it was like the silliest number it's not even in the movie <laughs> it's cut from the movie okay so my little part was I don't even remember right now exactly but I got to like come out onto the stage and pretend I was like gossiping with these little girls and we, this girl comes out and she's selling fish and then like come up like right to the mic because I'm not mic'd mm -hmm. and I sing my little part remember Perchick that crazy student remember at the wedding and something like that and 
then at the very at the end, rest of the number goes on and at the very end I just totally smile like I can't keep character I am not an actress but I did it and I'm just so happy to be alive and that little voice is like what's the point it's like this is the point hmm. That's really nice. Are there any expanding questions on This Is The Point? Did you go on to do any more musicals or any more yeah. plays? Yeah. So two years later, I was in Annie with the church group, St. Peter's Episcopal Church, and I got to play Frances Perkins. And I didn't have a solo, but I sang Tomorrow with the mm. cabinet scenes. So that was pretty cool. Do you still get very nervous, like when it's time to come out and like perform, even though your lines are small or big or whatever, you still get very nervous? Yeah, I think so, but it's, it's just so much easier with a group. Mm -hmm. like right now, I'm way more nervous okay. than, huh. than being on stage with a group.